A mutated, deformed, psychic human. Just what the zone needed, right? That's exactly the role filled by these lovely monstrosities known as the Controller and the Bureau. These creatures heavily resemble humans and are likely the result of experimentation performed on prisoners at many of the X laboratories around the zone, as indicated by the gauze and human clothing worn by the controller, and the human anatomy and scarred features of the Bureau. Both appear to be rather displeased by bright lights. Now, not only are they both absolutely horrifying to look at, but the experimentation performed on them appears to have rendered them masters of psychic manipulation. The controller possesses the ability to not only emit a psi field that alters one's vision, but they can also kill a man in one single attack, causing massive psychic damage. Of course, if the controller fails to kill a stalker with this attack, the victim is still met with one of two horrifying images of the controller's face. Bureaus, on the other hand, have a short stature, black robes, and the ability to project a sort of telekinetic shield, protecting them from damage. And they tend to travel in packs or pairs. Also, they are able to telekinetically manipulate their environment much akin to the poltergeist. These tactics combine to make one formidable foe. The controller's psychic abilities are said to expand beyond just their offensive capabilities. Some stalkers claim to have been the victim of a sort of psychic hallucination while being influenced by a controller, such as a man who claims he was tricked into believing he was surrounded by allies, but they were truly just zombies. Others have claimed to have been convinced that they were on a perfectly stable path, only to come to their senses on the edge of a cliff, whilst in the presence of a controller. Much in the same way, the Bureau is capable, in rare circumstances, of voice mimicry, particularly in one instance in an underground lab where one mimics an infant human. Have a listen. These manipulations appear to indicate some sort of intelligence. This is supported by a particular instance in the swamps of Zatan, where a stalker was given a warning by a controller before he was attacked. Here, have a listen. Leave here, man. The fact that the controller refers to the stalker as man perhaps indicates that they are aware of their new distance from humanity and may even be aware of what they once were. It is also unclear whether or not the bed and supplies found in the controller's cave in Zatan belong to the controller, or maybe just the dead stalker inside. These encounters have led many stalkers to consider controllers and viewers to be not only the most intelligent, but also some of the most dangerous mutants in the zone. Though these creatures are rare, should you find yourself pitted against one, it is highly recommended that you employ a weapon that can dish out as much damage as possible in the shortest amount of time. Grenades tend to be the most effective as these mutants are highly resilient and it is critical that you deal with them before they can perform their deadly psychic attacks. Hopefully you don't find yourself cornered by one of these formidable adversaries in your travels, but if you do, I wish you the best of luck. Get out of here, stalker. 